Bird everybody, what the fuck is going on? Welcome back to Cooking with Bird Martinez, the one, the only Bird motherfucking Martinez, bitch. What the fuck is up, everybody? What the fuck is up, my YouTube fam? Um, bitch. So let me tell you this. So yesterday, I was gonna make this video. I was all excited because I got my shit together. I had to go to like three stores. I had to go to the sea seafood market. Where the Asian people go, where the Asian store, but everybody goes, I'm not being weird. Um, it's called the Pacific Island Market. Because they got a bunch of good shit right there, you know, especially when it comes to seafood, my shit. So I went to that store, went to Vallarta, and I went to El Super, I think. And um, I got my shit together, and I told my, I'm going to make this, and da 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 Because I've been craving this bitch, Siete Males. I've been craving it, and I went to make it for myself. And my was like, oh, well, I wanted to try the new fucking... There's like a taco stand in the corner and he wanted to try it out. And I was like, but I was like, I guess, you know, it's your day off, I'll, you know, whatever. So we waited till like 6.30, our, our tummies were grumbling, rumbling or grumbling, rumbling, rumbling. And um, I went over there, bitch. I went downhill, I went uphill, I went all around looking for damn tacos, y nada. We ended up eating tacos, but like from a restaurant, so I'm like passing by. And I see this man with his big ass plate of siete males. And I was like, that could have been me, bitch. That could have been me. If it wasn't for bitch ass Mario trying to eat tacos and shit. And at the end, he was like, I brought him just tacos. And he's like, well, if you went to the um, that place that we always go to, why didn't you bring my burrito? I was like, you wanted tacos, you got your tacos. But anyways, it's a new motherfucking day. We here. We're going to make siete males. Okay. So... Siete Mares is a very famous Mexican dish. It's like a soup, seafood soup. Um, but Siete Mares, I think it's because it has seven different seafood things. And people, they're like, chinga tu Siete Mares when you have like a hangover. Um, talking about hangovers. One time I was with my, my friend, we were drinking Old English. I don't know if you guys know about that. I was like 16. Yes, I was one of those kids. Um, big ass bottles of Old English. We would drink those shit, down them shits. And the next morning, I had the biggest fucking hangover. And her mom was so too, so nice that she took us out to eat to San Fernando. The Centro de San Fernando, she took us to like a damn, it was like a seafood place. But I ordered a, a, a plate of chicken pollo, caldo de pollo. And the lady brings in, I'm over here like, okay. And it just stinks like ass, like everything's so gross. And I was like, bitch. So I'm like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then, I threw up all the motherfucking. I threw up through like in the mid. I was in the middle. We're in the middle table, and I threw around that bitch. I just walked out and left. And yeah, ever since then, I haven't drank no old English. I know what's that. Up. It's about. It's about like cheap and shit. And when you're young, that, that's all you could get. That's all you drink. Bitch, we're three minutes in, so let's get this motherfucker started. Okay, so for this bitch, we're gonna use. Oh, I got some snow crab legs. Mm, oh yeah, I went to Walmart for these because I went to one store and they didn't have them. I went to the seafood place and they were out of them. I'm gonna use some imitation crab. It's, it's like fish. I looked it up what it is. We're gonna use some motherfucking octopus. Yes, octopus. Still need to get it ready. We're gonna use some of this bitch muscle meat pack mussels. We're gonna use a mother rock crab rock. Crab claw. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know. They look good to me. And we're going to use shrimpies. Raw shrimp. We got the small ones. And then I got the big motherfuckers too. Because I love shrimp. And we're going to use some scallops. Look. So I went to the store for these. Because I had gone to Vallarta. Where is it? I'll look for them. And I said, can I get some scallops? They gave me like. The smallest little bag and I asked for a pound and it was not even a pound. So we're gonna use two types of scallops. I think I left them in the other fridge. Oh no, here it is. Look how much they gave me. Cause the guy said, oh, they're frozen. And I'm like, I don't care. I'm gonna use them tomorrow, but he didn't fucking care. They're right there. They're so little. So I have to go for more. And we're gonna use some potatoes, some papas, some carrots, but you can put whatever, whatever type of veggies you want. Some carrots and some celery, motherfuckers. Also, bitch, I'm so excited. I finally found this one. 
is the shrimp bouillon flavor thing. I only have the chicken flavor, but now I have also the beef flavor, the tomato flavor. So I'm almost there. I don't know how, if, whatever more flavors I have, but I'm excited, bitch. We're gonna use five tomatoes, some onion, some garlic, and what is over here? Oh, some juice. No, tomato juice from Concentrate. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And some salt and pepper, bitch. What's up? I'm so excited to eat this, bitch. You don't even know. Also, bitch, we're gonna need some oil. And I'm ready, bitch. I'm ready. I'm ready, bitch. I'm ready. And no, I'm not a 49ers fan. I'm just a fan of clothing, sport clothing. So if you ever guys wanna give me anything, Something with color and sports, bitch. When I die, I'm gonna be in the coffin with some motherfucking sweats and a motherfucking t-shirt and a motherfucking hoodie, and I'm gonna be right there. I just wanna be ready for whatever. You know, if I go to hell, I want, I'm just gonna take off my hoodie and walk around with my shirt. If I go to heaven, if it, is it cold in heaven? I don't know, but I'm gonna be chilling with my hoodie. I remember one time we went to Mexico, and um, I forgot my whole fucking clothes, my I forgot it in Tijuana. So the whole time, I only had a pair of sweats and a hoodie. And that's why I wore to the parties. I didn't wear the same thing, but Mexican clothes is different. Like over there, I bought me some Mexican clothes and it was all hard. Like the material is different. I don't know. Oh, and we're gonna get some cilantro. Anyways, let's get this motherfucker started, bitch. I almost forgot these motherfuckers right here. We got this bloody bitch right here. We got Bonnie and Clyde. And they're writing out for me. You know what I'm saying? These are called milkfish. I was gonna get the tilapia like we always do, but I just wanted to try something new since I did go to the seafood market. I was like, bitch, I wanna be bougie today. I wanna try new things out, you know what I mean? Okay, so we're gonna start by cutting the onion. You guys know the drill. Cut it up in little squares. Okay, okay. And I got my kids over there cutting up shit también. Not shit, they're cutting up veggies. Yeah. Did you guys have a good weekend? I hope you guys did. And what day is it today? Wednesday? Then why the fuck am I talking about weekend? If it's almost about to be the weekend again. I don't know. It just feels like the weekend was here. Maybe because your puppy's day off was yesterday. And it was weird, huh? Wait, yesterday we took baby Mario to his physical. It was hilarious. Este <laughs> they keep asking him questions like if he knows how to talk off here and shit. What puppy? Good job. Put him in the water. He's like, he knows certain words. He's not a big talker. All my kids have learned how to speak la later in life. Except Sofia. Except Sofia. Sorry, guys. Sorry. So you're not pinche chismosa, verdad? I'm lying. Not all my kids. Sofia started talking when she was a day old. <laughs> no, just kidding. No, but the, the doctor, they kept telling, he's like, okay, I'm going to touch your testicles now. So... If anybody else wants to touch your testicles, make don't let them. Only me, cause I'm a doctor and your mommy's here. Okay, puppy. Give him another papa. Sí. So he was um the doctor. The do it was a girl doctor. He was grabbing his little balls. He's like, there's one testicle. There's another testicle. I just thought it was funny, cause I've never seen it. Cause every time I take my physicals for my daughters, they don't do the testicle thing. So <laughs> like, why the fuck are they touching? But yes, they just gotta make sure the testicles not too big or some shit that's what i think anyway just cut the motherfucker up mario cutting up the papas we got mandy sofia everybody the whole gang 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 este so they're gonna cutting up the celery and the papas and one more thing the cilantro i'm gonna bring this the cilantro también okay okay oh yeah the carrots are there right there already so i'm cutting up the tomatoes because bitch you know what that's my thing um and it's better to cut it in little squares. But anyways, so I grew up in a small town, like really small town, and only 2,000 people up in that hole. And one liquor store and one clinic. Like, all we did was go to the park every day, go to the pool, fuck around. But the bad thing about growing up in the beach is that everybody know everybody business. Like, there is no privacy up in this bitch. And um, everybody knows when somebody's kid is pregnant, everybody knows who fu who's fucking who. So this weekend, we went to eat out. And I saw one of the ladies, that, you know, my, my friend's mom. And I was all trying to be nice, you know, say what the fuck is up. 
you know, be my friendly self. Mm -hmm. Like, hola, como esta? Da, 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 da. And she looked at me like, like kind of knew who I was, but kind of like, who are you? I was like, oh, soy Erika, la hija de Beatriz. And she's like, that's muy flaquita, no? Like, you're too skinny. And I was like, I've always been skinny. And she was like, not, not too, not this skinny. Looked at me like up and down, like, what the fuck? And she's like, so these are your kids? I was like, yeah, they're my kids. And she's like, how old is that? The one with the, the tallest one. I'm like, oh, she's 13. And she's like, I thought she was older. Why is her hair dyed? Isn't she too young for that? And I was like, um, no, I dyed her hair, so it's okay. I don't dye her roots. And then she went to baby Mario. And how old is he? And I was like, oh, he's three. And she's like, oh, he's too short, isn't he? He looks like three. And I was like, no, he's five. And then she's like, you need to give him more calcium. But you know what? I don't even get offended because these are the ladies that they live in, live in the small town. And all they do is talk about each, each other. And that's why I'm glad I don't live there anymore because I was in everybody's mouth. Because, you know, growing up, I was like a little cholita and everybody was talking shit about me. And I hated it because the reason why I couldn't have a boyfriend, why I had a boyfriend, but my mom hated, didn't want me to be his girlfriend was because my mom knew the dad. And I was like, mother, he is like not even a, a dirty little bitch. He's like very good to me. He's like, I don't care. I don't like his dad. Yeah. Made my life of living motherfucking hell. I'm just gonna clean the inside like this. También la cabeza. Inside. I know some people get freaked out with heads and shit. But I don't really fucking give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Woo! I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Woo! I forgot to cut my garlic. Este, so, but don't worry. Este, I wash my boards, I wash my knife, I wash that asshole. And that noise that you hear in the back is Mandy cutting up the celery. I don't know, she always makes a bunch of noise for everything. She is never, she's not sneaky at all. Like if she tries to be sneaky, it's Sofia. But I always catch her. Shit, you can't bullshit a bullshit. Fuck you mean, I tell her. What the fuck you mean? I'll catch your ass, catch your ass. Everything nice and clean, ready to go, the um fish the scallops a little remix the octopus everything so now i'm just gonna start making the caldo everything's clean and ready let's get the motherfucker started inside i have the tomatoes the papas potatoes the zanahorias how do you say zanahorias celery? Yeah. zanahorias carrots oh. celery and the garlic yeah. and the onion bitch let's get this motherfucker started so first i'll put the oil like that much That's not a lot. And we're gonna put the onion and the garlic. This is a big ass pot, but I don't like to cook with my shit off this. Spin it around for a little bit. Now we're gonna. Next, we have the celery. Go in, bitch. Do your thing, bitch. Mm, 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 mm. It already smells amazing, boss. Like, for real, for real. Does it smell good, Sofia? Mandy? Si. I don't mean to call you Sofia. I know I only have two girls, but I confuse you, girls. I'm sorry. It's because you guys are both assholes. <laughs> I'm kidding. You guys are both angels. Angelito de mi guardia, bitch. So here's a little remix. We got the scallops, the jaiba. I don't know what the other shit is called, but you know what I mean. All the octopus and all that motherfucker. All that good stuff. All that good stuff. Okay, next is the carrots and las papas. This looks crazy. It looks so fucking good, bro. If I could, I would invite all you motherfuckers up in here. I'm a real bitches. And leave the fix. The fake ass bitches at home. I'm gonna add the cilantro. Cause you know, cilantro's life, motherfuckers. And I'm gonna let it sit there for like five minutes. And then I'm gonna put the juice juice on it. And some water. So mean ass remix up in this remix there, bitch. Um, I'm gonna add the jugo. Man, I should have opened this before I started recording. Oh, yo. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. And we're gonna add some water. 
I'll tell you how many cups of water I had. You need to pee? Please. Want me to hold your dick? That's one. Let me check. Sofia, la tortilla wants to show, show off her outfit. You're not wearing shoes, though. She is a madre. You look gorgeous, mama. A ver, a spin, a spin, a ver. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Who that? Na Sofia, la tortilla. The one, the only. Gorgeous, Sofia, la tortilla. ¿A dónde están peinadas? ¿Para cuándo sales para las tortillas? That's like a saying in Mexico. Like, um, the girls, they went to the, with the corn. They would go to make them to the masa. So that was the only time they could get out of the house. So the guys would be like, when is the, the time that you're going to go to get the tortillas? Oh. No, you don't get it? No, yeah. well, now for the good stuff. We're going to add black pepper. And Sofia left. She just wanted to show her outfit. She was just like, <laughs> she's like, she's not conceited. She just loves herself. That's how I, I am too. Like, I'm not like trying to say that I'm the shit, but bitch, I'm the shit. And then I'm going to add some salt. You know, everybody's dish is differently, so like taste your shit. Don't be like, oh my god, I have to go by the fucking um, measurements. Nah, bitch, go by like how it tastes. And now I'm gonna add this one, the shrimpy flavor. I'm gonna add like that much. Bitch, I tried to give you guys measurements. I'll try again. I know it's bad, but that's just how I cook. I'm just gonna close this bitch. We're gonna wait till it boils one time, que del hervor, and then we're gonna put the fish, no, the crab, the fish, and then the shrimp. I've been cooking all this time, and I got no dirty dishes. You know what I'm talking about? When you cooking, when you cooking, cooking, make sure to go clean as you go. So like that, like right now, I'm just chilling right here. You know what I'm saying? Going through my Instagram, you know, poking my asshole. Just kidding, I don't poke my asshole. Um, sometimes I do. Yeah, like that, you don't have to worry about cleaning and shit. You just gotta worry about eating. I wanna send a shout out to Miguel209. He sent me a DM and he's like, thank you, bird, for your recipe. My mom made um, fried chicken. And he, thank you for your recipe. And I just think it's cool that the son took the time to thank for the mother. Like that's that's cool, that's cute to me. That's a, that's the type of shit that I like to hear. I don't know, thank you everybody for the motherfucking love, seriously. Like, I thought I was like, um, people are like, hey, you're fucking annoying ass boys. You're fucking ghetto. Da, 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 da. But I guess some people see through the bullshit and see that you're a girl. It's a real, it's a, a real bitch. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, I'm so excited. So I'm going to the gym again. Mm -hmm. Because I'm just a skinny bitch, right? But when I go to the gym, <laughs> I get a little thick, a little thick, thick. Not like Coca-Cola, you know, but like, um, like a Fanta kind of, I don't know. Something smaller, like a little, like a little, como se dice? Where's my, I get like a little container, like a little curvy, like, but you know, it's a lot for me. I have always wanted to wear a bikini, but I always get too like scared. I like a one piece, like a good one piece, showing a little butt cheek, <laughs> showing a little nalga, it's good enough for me. Yeah, so when it starts boiling like that, let's do this. Throw the motherfucking crab up in that hole. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm bomb like beyond bomb it smells bomb skis skis motherfuckers um so every time we go to tj we go to this place called el negro durazo it's in tijuana and that's what it smells like this they have like banda and shit fucking beer oh it's just so fucking good i love the consomme i went there when i was pregnant from mandy and she would barely move that bitch was lazy and, um, but when I went to eat there, she started moving. But the funny thing is that she doesn't really like seafood. She only likes shrimp. So I don't know. I don't really, really know. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. So we're going to wait a little bit, unos dos minutos, and we're going to add the fish and the shrimp beef. Okay, here we go, yo. What I see, we're going to add the fish. Ahorita lo voy a meter bien with my hands. Because I always put my hands everywhere. I'm having a good old time. Good old funky time. Now, time for the shrimpies. The shrimpies are always done faster. Those big ass ones are huge. The little ones are little. Here's the final step. I'm so excited. Pinche Mario. We could have ate this shit yesterday, pero por andar de pendejo. I wanna eat that guys. 
I'm like, motherfucker, I make you tacos all the time. But I guess the street street tacos are different than the tacos tacos that you make at home. But I guess I guess he heard a lot about the tacos. Um, people were like posting on their Facebook, saying that they're bomb ski skis, motherfuckers. No, they didn't say that. They just say they're bomb. Anyways, I'm gonna move this motherfucker around. I'm so glad I used a big prop. I was like, which prop should I use? Okay, it's a lot. I'm gonna take some to my mom because she loves. She's diabetic, so she loves seafood. You know, it's healthier. It's a la patota. So now we're just gonna wait like 10, 15 minutes. We'll see how long this bitch takes. In 10 minutes, ya está hirviendo. But you could put less. Just look at your shade. You know what I'm saying? Ya está listo. El caldito. I just added some limon. Sofia's gonna do it with me today because she's a seafood person like me. And this is her plate. She just wanted one leg and a little bit of caldo. You're gonna want more after this, girl. Yeah. Trust me. Mm. Look, these look like my legs. Huh? Can I can I have them instead? Which a little one? Yeah. There's like things to break it. To break them, but I don't have them things. Where's the thing you made? Mmm. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. The best part is the caldo. Mm. I gave a spoon. I know, but that's how we do it. Mm. Mm. It warms up your heart, your soul, and your motherfucking asshole. Oh, God. Bitch, when I'm pregnant, this is all I crave. Seafood. What is seafood bad for the baby? Oh. Um, I guess some seafood... I mean, look at Shula, the shrimp. Oh, look at that. It's so fucking beautiful. So pink. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm all warming for it. What's your favorite part of it? The juice. The juice, right? That's the best part. I'm telling you. Break it. Here, grab this one. Okay. I have this one. Mmm. Mmm. Motherfuckers, you guys have to try this. The only thing, I feel like I put a lot of haiba, the imitation crab meat. If you if they're okay with that, then make it like that. Other than that, make it with your your, your favorite seafood. Mmm. 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 Mm. You're gonna love it. Mm, the pulpo, the octopus. Mmm. And that's the other type of crab. It's kind of fat. Bitch. Mmm. I don't know. I love it. But anyways, to all my motherfucking bird gang, 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 gang motherfuckers, I love you. Peace and motherfucking love.